The Oracle is one of the most enigmatic characters in the Matrix universe. The mother of the simulation has manipulated Morpheus, Trinity, Neo, and even the Architect to achieve her goals. Some see her as a hero, others consider her as a villain lurking in the shadows. But what if this program's disturbing origin is one in which she nearly wiped out humanity during the time of the original war? What if the Oracle walked the Earth in the body of a nightmare fuel robot in Animatrix? Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. The Oracle in the first Matrix film was introduced as a wise old woman, a prophet of sorts who took care of children and was kind of an advisor to the Red Pills. Our perception of the Oracle changed in Matrix Reloaded after Neo uncovered that she is a program. You're not human, are you? Well, it's tough to get any more obvious than that. If I had to guess, I'd say you're a program from the machine world. So is he. It isn't necessary to question whether or not she was there to help Neo. The architect divulged that the Oracle was responsible for implementing greater stability to the simulation's equation, enhancing the Matrix and keeping humanity prisoner. The intentions of the Oracle, at least during the first five official simulations, was to keep humanity in the dark. It's debated whether or not she later became an ally of the humans. However, we can affirm that it was the Oracle's fault that the Matrix worked, effectively making her an enemy program. Now, the architect did reveal something interesting while talking about the Oracle, and that is that she has existed since before the existence of the first official simulation of the Matrix. Thus, the answer was stumbled upon by another, an intuitive program, initially created to investigate certain aspects of the human psyche. If I am the father of the Matrix, she would undoubtedly be its mother, the Oracle. The Oracle was designed to study human behavior because machines couldn't understand human irrationality. If this is indeed the case, then the Oracle could not have been created to help enhance the Matrix. She is a program created during the time when machines sought to understand why humans acted illogically. So let us go back in time and explore the past before the Matrix. Our history lesson takes us back centuries, back to when the humans and machines coexisted. After a robot killed a human, humanity decided to eradicate all self-aware machines. The surviving sentient robots fled and founded their own city simply called Zero One. The intuitive program, or Oracle, was not needed at this time because the humans' actions and reactions were understandable. They were acting out of fear and retaliation. The robot B166ER killed its owner and even her pets. Was it extreme to want to destroy all sentient robots? Perhaps, but most humans did not understand how a robot with a conscience worked. Somewhat ironic when you think about it. However, things changed when Zero One began to establish economic superiority. The robots from Zero One were manufacturing technologies that greatly benefited mankind. Their products became hot ticket items, high in demand. They were advertisements everywhere. With such a positive market relationship between the two parties, the robots assumed that an official union would be the next logical step to be acknowledged as equals and as a sovereign nation. But they were wrong. And so the day came in which humanity sealed their fate. The machines extended an olive branch to the humans during a meeting at the United Nations. The humans' response was truculent, to say the least. The humans not only denied the robot's request for union and coexistence, but they aggressively detained the robot ambassadors and ordered a preemptive attack on the machine city. This was humanity's final chance for peace, and they blew it. We believe that this is when the birth of the intuitive program occurred. The machines could not understand why humans denied their peaceful request for an alliance. They were never on the offensive, but that changed after the humans attacked Zero One. What changed was the machine's understanding of humanity's actions. The robots finally understood that mankind would never be their allies. 
They were a dangerous and irrational species guided by emotions. This revelation of human behavior had to have come from the Oracle, as it was the program created to comprehend the human psyche. The intuitive program concluded that humans must be controlled. If this hypothesis is correct, then everything that happens next was caused by the Oracle. The robots launched an unprecedented war to conquer humanity. One by one, the cities of man fell to the overwhelming strength of the machines. And out of desperation, the human military launched what is possibly the dumbest and most absurd countermeasure ever devised by mankind. Operation Dark Storm, a mission to cover the entire sky with black clouds, a strategy that would ironically benefit the machines. The human's desperation was predicted by the machines. The robots could have stopped this operation if it indeed posed a threat to them. Yet they didn't stop it. They knew that Operation Dark Storm would instead help the robots in the end. The robots allowed the planet to become an inhospitable wasteland that only they can survive in. This would explain why the machines never cleared up the sky. Operation Dark Storm was a success, but the humans could not win against the machines. The surviving human leaders met at the United Nations to sign their surrender. The machine that was sent to the UN to oversee the capitulation was very different from the robots that were sent many years ago to negotiate an alliance. It's quite poetic how it all came full circle. This robot was something out of a nightmare. It looked like a humanoid insect with multiple arms. One arm holding a scroll and another holding an apple. The apple symbolizes the tale of Adam and Eve. When the couple ate the forbidden fruit, they were banished from paradise. The robot holding the apple means that the machines are banishing humanity from their paradise, from their home. This reminds us of the Oracle, who also uses religious symbolisms. And here comes the crazy part. We believe that this monster is an early incarnation of the Oracle. Why? Well, because the Oracle was in charge of understanding human behavior. And what better way to do that than to be sent to witness humanity's surrender? After the humans signed the agreement, the robot detonated into a giant ball of light, a massive explosion that killed all remaining world leaders. If it wasn't obvious enough, the capitulation meeting was a trap. So what we have here is a machine that used religious symbolism to manipulate humans to surrender. This modus operandi screams of a program that is studying human behavior and that used a certain degree of trickery to bring together the human leaders to then kill them all. The body of the robot was destroyed in the nuclear explosion, but not before its consciousness returned to the machine city. This explains why the Oracle is revered by the machines, so much so that she was allowed to suggest and implement changes to the simulation. It was she that caused the fall of mankind. She predicted and manipulated the events of the war, the burning of the sky, and the surrender of the humans. Now you could argue that this is the reason why the Oracle was later fighting for peace between humans and machines. That over the years, she became sympathetic towards the humans. She was remorseful of the part that she played in the destruction of human civilization. This is all conjecture, of course. The origins of the Oracle could be explained differently. Yet we still believe that what we brought to the table could be a plausible explanation of the Oracle's earliest incarnation. But do you agree? Was that robotic insectoid in the Animatrix the Oracle? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.